Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know what time you're watching this at, but welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be going through skincare routines. So over the last couple of months, I've really changed my skincare routine in that I've actually got one um, because I haven't really had one before. And I've noticed a dramatic, dramatic change in my skin. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of what I've been using, uh, my day routine, my night routine, and then also what I've been doing when I'm having problematic skin issues. So we all have them. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I've been doing to try and combat some of those problems. Also this video, there is a request for you guys to help me out. There is one skincare issue that I have not solved yet and I need a product and I need your advice so please watch on to see what that problem is because I need your help so yeah let's go ahead and just get straight into the skincare routine alrighty so we're starting with a naked face and slightly damp hair as is my usual oh I'm shedding Okay, so we're starting with bare skin today. There's literally nothing on this. I have to say the texture of my skin has really improved. It feels so much softer in the last like two months. There's still fine lines and stuff like that that I need to address, but we're getting there. It's, it's, it's working. So I'm gonna show you the two serums that I wear uh, in the morning or daytime. It, so it goes between three actually if I'm being honest. So the one I always put on in the morning is the Glossier Super Glow So that is a vitamin C and magnesium serum and then I go between these two uh, For the daytime depending on where my skin is at this one here Which is super pure is to calm breakout prone skin and redness and this one is to ease and soften tight rough skin So what I've been having for the last while and I think it's because of the fluctuation in temperature as well Because it was really hot summer and now it's gone quite cold again Is I'm getting a lot of redness and very 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 dry skin around my eyes There's still a little bit under here and on my neck so to ease and soften has been instrumental in getting rid of that. Like I was on uh, steroid creams and everything and it, I first I don't like using steroid creams long term but it wasn't getting rid of it. Um, so I've been using this religiously and it's really, really helped. Um, and then this one is to calm breakout prone skin and redness. So obviously I do have redness um, and I wouldn't necessarily break out. I've been quite lucky that my skin hasn't necessarily been, you know, very spotty or has a lot of acne. Um, but I do, I would get kind of, if I do get spots, they are aggressive. And I'm gonna talk you through what I do when I have an aggressive an aggressive situation um so I've kind of been going through these but through both of these to be honest with you you'll see now how much I've gone through I got these in early September when I was in LA they're drugs 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 so much so that I genuinely did just order them again because I need them immediately. It's very important. So I'm gonna pop on some Super Pure. Because it's so low, I actually have to keep the lid on while I fill the thing. And I'm just going to put that on my hand. Make sure you make like a little well with your hand because they're, they're quite uh, watery. And then I'm just gonna work that all over my face. Whatever's left, I'll put it on the back of my hands. Always, 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 always. So that's the first one. The second one I put on is the Super Glow, which is the vitamin C and magnesium. So vitamin C is really good for color correcting. This one's, it's okay. I decided not to order it because it's it's lasting a little bit longer. Um, and this one's a very watery consistency, like so you really have to make that well with your hand. I made the mistake the first couple of times and it was just like basically on the floor. Put this into the skin and make sure with like the vitamin C one to get in around your nose where there can tend to be some discoloration um, because it will help even that out. Again, back of the hands. So depending on what, on what I used in the daytime, I will use um, one of these, so either the Super Pure or the Super Bounce. And then I follow it up with the Clinique Moisture Surge well-loved product. I've actually had this since April, so it's lasted a really long time. It's the 72-hour auto-replenishing hydrator. Um, kind of like, it's not a super thick consistency, but at nighttime I would use that after one of the serums. But in the daytime, what I use is the Glossier, yet again, there's a lot of Glossier in this video, the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. Um, it's a really light, 
nice cream it's not um like i've never broken out or anything from it because you know the way some moisturizers you can um you can really break out using them because they're too thick or whatever it may be i saw a woman on eva chen's instagram talk about how to actually properly put on moisturizer and i did it for like two nights and now i've forgotten it but i know it was something to do with like sculpting out the jaw bones and like oh my god she was doing some mad stuff but she was like 50 something and looked about 30 so i might need to go back and have a look at that again hands so that's kind of my daytime prep um so the difference is the daytime prep will always include the vitamin c and then one of these followed by the priming moisturizer whereas the nighttime don't use the vitamin c i'll use one of these depending and the clinique moisturizer so what i do at night before i will put on all my serums and stuff is i will use my cleanser so i have the glossier what is happening i'm still shedding I have the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I haven't used a ton of this and the reason is I'm really lazy to be perfectly honest and some nights I will literally come home and I know it's bad for the environment and I know it's bad for your skin but I'll use a makeup wipe and uh, yeah so I'm trying to wean myself off this off wipes and onto this. I'm always happier when I use this so I just need to get my shit together basically but this is what I use to cleanse and then what I got and I didn't get this when I was in Glossier, I got it when I got back, is the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. If you have problematic skin, I would highly recommend getting this. The talk about this online was so intense that I was like, well, I have to get it. So I've got it for myself. So I'll use, they say to only use it once a, in the day. So I prefer to use it at nighttime because it helps just take off any excess makeup. So I'll use my cleanser first, this, and then I'll go in with my serums and my Clinique night moisturizer because it's quite thick. So I don't, I don't think it's necessary for during the day. Then I'll generally pop on this. This is the Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. I'll show you now. I get the worst chapped lips the worst i've also talked about here uh what's the other one i use so another good one and i i talked about this a while ago uh, when i was having uh really bad problems with chapped lips uh this <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry i'm still a bit sick this mac lip conditioner like saved my lips the last time so i've been going between the two of these the Burt's Bees one because it has peppermint on it it's quite tingly like i'm feeling the tingle now but other than that it's really really nice okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do my makeup and then i will go through the rest of my skincare routine with you Now that I've sufficiently turned every makeup artist off my channel for life, I'm just going to finish up with another little skincare thing that I love, which is the Max, MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Gold Light. It's a bit trash. It's like all the, all the, uh, the wording has come off. But I find it's really, really good for refreshing your skin. You can leave it in the fridge if you need. Like you can see, it's just added that instant glow. I'm just going to give it a minute to like soak in. Um, but if you leave it in the fridge, it's really cold. So it's really nice on a freezing cold day. Um, but it, Or really nice on a warm day, not a freezing cold day. Don't use it on a freezing cold day like that because your face will freeze. Okay, so let's talk what else I've been doing to try and improve my skin. So one big thing that I've been doing is face masks and I've talked about this recently in another video. Um, but yesterday, what did I do? I did a Sephora mask, it's a blue one though. I think it's purifying and detoxifying. So I've been doing a lot of different face masks. I have like the pearl one, which is perfecting and brightening, mattifying and anti-blemish, which is the green tea, nourishing and soothing, which is the coconut one. So obviously it depends on like what your skin needs and what it kind of state it's in at that 
point in time so what I like having is like a couple of different types so that I can you know make sure I'm using the right one another mask that I've liked and I've literally just got testers of this I haven't used uh, I haven't purchased a bottle of it yet but it's the Charlotte Tilbury goddess skin clay mask and um, so I've used a couple of samples of these because they kind of just throw them in when you make a purchase so it says it visibly lifts smooths brightens and tightens pores so I have a wedding coming up in a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes, very calm for someone who's going to a wedding in a few minutes, a couple of weeks, Ugh. come on voice, brain, whatever. So something like this is probably what I'll use like the week before or um, just to make sure that I'm prepping my skin and then I probably use something more like the nourishing one like a couple of days before just to make sure my skin's in a good place and um, just because I find clay can really bring a lot of the crap in your skin to the surface so you have to be careful to not do it too close to an event and um, because otherwise you could actually have everything surfacing at exactly the wrong time which brings me to another product that you have to be very careful about but it works wonders wonders so this is the mac mineralize volcanic ash exfoliator so i got this a good few years ago uh, this is my, my second or third bottle use this sparingly this stuff is potent aside from the fact that the whatever grains there are in this um they're quite harsh on the skin so you really have to be careful with it and um, like when i use this it's when i'm having bad breakout because what i find is the volcanic ash in this draws out any of the impurities that are in your skin basically which is causing those breakouts this is something that you should really use if you're having a really bad problem spot this is really good to use but just beware that things could get worse before they get better but they will get better i've seen this take down like the angriest sorest looking spot like i give this to everyone whenever i like if i know somebody's having a problem like use this and i've seen it take like down the angriest sorest looking spots to really neutralize like that redness and take the angriness out of it very very quickly so this is a really really good one to use if you're having problematic skin but just make sure you're using it at least I'd say two weeks before a big event or anything coming up because it will bring a lot of impurities to the surface of your skin and just you want to make sure that you're giving your skin time to heal it says to use one or three times per week I really wouldn't I use it maybe once every two three weeks because it is a harsh exfoliant it's not soft on your skin it's it's there to take away the crap so just just beware beware so like these you just have to time them well like I would probably use this like two weeks before an event and then this the week before and then that's gonna hopefully make sure your skin is in tip top condition another um exfoliant that i use which again has been in another video is the way it says uh it's a scalp and body scrub so obviously way is a hair care company as opposed to body company but i really love the ingredients in this i've been, I've been using it on my scalp as well as on my body and um, so what it has in it is it's coconut oil infused scrub with gentle exfoliating sugar crystals i find it really really gentle on the body if i'm honest feels like you're moisturizing at the same time if that makes sense because because of the coconut oil in it it's not drying so like you're exfoliating but you also don't feel you know the way sometimes when you exfoliate uh you can actually feel like you're just stripping away any natural oils that doesn't do this um i use it sparingly because i actually don't like over exfoliating like with this i don't like exfoliating a lot i think you should kind of like my belief is that you should kind of let your skin do what it's gotta do most of the time I very much have combination skin where like there'll either be intense dry patches like what I was talking about around my eyes but at the same time I have a very oily t-zone so I'm just trying to find things that like balance that out and but but not like overdo it either so don't go crazy with exfoliators you shouldn't be exfoliating uh a lot to be honest you sparingly go easy but this is a much more gentle exfoliator than this one this one's quite harsh but this one you could use fairly often but again I probably only use it about once a week once every two weeks I prefer to just let my body do its thing uh, where possible and what I've actually used uh, as moisturizer today I have forgotten I got this but I got it with um, my 
shampoo bar and um, it is the uh it's a charity pot from lush a uh, really really nice a moisturizer i think because okay so it has like its ingredients are water fair trade olive oil glycerine organic jojoba oil moringa oil cocoa butter like really really nice nourishing ingredients i put it on my skin today and my skin feels amazing and um, so that's definitely one to check out. It's just the charity pot. You just can add it on. I don't even know if it has a, like it's to protect uh, Pont Valley, um, but it doesn't have like a, you can buy this full size kind of thing going on. Oh yeah, sorry, we were talking about problematic skin. Let me just get right back to that. So I have a little potion. It's not a potion, there's two ingredients, but and I've obviously been watching too much um, Sabrina. Um, I have a little kind of remedy for if you have a very aggressive breakout. I would use this only for those extremely aggressive breakouts and like generally what I find is sometimes like if I get an ingrown hair or something on my leg, the area around it can get a little bit inflamed and that's what I'd use this for. So. I am obsessed with Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream as you can see by this it is like it is like a sheet of paper I've I've taken that much out of it this is my new one but uh, I had a little accident when we were in Yosemite and uh, nail varnish exploded all over it it still works though it's fine but what I do is if I have a really really aggressive situation going on I will take a little bit of Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream and some Epsom salts, mix them together to form a paste and then put it over the aggressive culprit. And that will really draw all that anger out. <laughs> It'll take the heat out of it. It will, it will really make a huge difference. I don't like, as I said earlier, I, I'm very lucky. I don't get spots much. I didn't have acne really as a teenager, but when I get an angry zit, it is it is like the accumulation of all the anger <laughs> coming out in that one thing. It can, it can be really, really painful. So I find that using these two things takes the heat out. So Epsom salts are brilliant, but it's magnesium sulfate basically. Another good thing to do is like, if you fill your bath with it, if you need to detox your skin, it's a really good way to um, detox and help with like any pain. If you've like recently done a lot of exercise or run a marathon or anything, it can really help with the lactic acid that is building up in the muscles. Um, you can also exfoliate with it and also it says a natural facial so stir half a teaspoon into cleansing cream and massage into the skin for deep pore, pore cleansing rinse with cold water and it's very true it will really really help with any aggressive situations going on i like to use the elizabeth arden eight hour cream with it because it just helps kind of nourish at the same time and not totally dry everything out another thing that you can use with instead of eight hour cream if you want it is bio oil which takes care of other issues. So uh, bio oil, and I don't have it at the moment because I've actually run out, which reminds me I need to buy some today. Um, but bio oil is excellent for any scarring. So if you have any acne scarring, if you have any scarring from any injuries, like I used it a lot when I had my knee surgery and that's nearly gone, um, or anything else that kind of has produced like, you know, discoloration of the skin, bio oil is amazing to use. And also a really, really good facial cleanser if you're in a pinch. Obviously don't use it if you have extremely oily skin um, but if you have a little bottle of that it's really good for taking off eye makeup as well and obviously by oil and the eyelashes is pretty good stuff I also have one or two eye masks one or two which I actually need to use soon because that is the thing that I haven't got in my skincare regime yet and what I wanted to ask you for your opinion on. So I think the two things I know I want to get for my skincare routine are one, rose water. I've heard it's incredible for your skin. While I do have this, this is more for finishing makeup as opposed to like skincare. Rose water is supposed to be excellent for your skin, has a huge number of benefits, so that's something I want to get for my skin. But I am on the lookout for a really good eye cream and would love to hear your opinions on this. So what I'm looking for is something that will deal with fine lines and anti-aging and kind of dark circles. Not so much that I get, like I don't have super bad lines or anything like that, but it's more preventative. I want to be, you know, 
dealing with it while I still can. Um, and then dark circles, I would have some dark circles and my eyes can kind of crinkle off quite a bit. I'm just trying to get that part of my skin a little tighter, a little firmer, and just in, in good nick again. So if you have any examples, then please leave them in the comments down below. I would really, really love um, to get your opinions on kind of what's, uh, what eye creams work really, really well. Because I just, there's so many options out there. It, it overwhelms me a little bit. So I've just taken a step back and been like, okay, maybe ask, maybe ask people instead. Okay. That is it. That is my skincare routine. So you've got my day routine, my night routine, my cleansing routine, my exfoliating routine, my mask routine, and also my problematic routine for when things are just not going according to plan in my skin life and I need to uh, bring in some reinforcements. I would love to know if you guys have any other like remedies for when you have like certain problems. So whether it be, you know, oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, if you're having problems with like body acne or anything, I would love to know what your kind of solutions for these different things are. So pop a comment down below and don't forget to leave a comment as well if you have any good eye cream suggestions. I'm a little desperate so please help me out because I cannot do any more research and it's taking up a good proportion of my time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a comment down below. You can subscribe and also give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh dear. Okay. So I was just laughing there because my sister has this phrase where she says, exfoliate to fuck. <laughs> where she basically is just like, get all the fake tan off, all like everything off. It's just like clean. Sorry, it's just suddenly got like incredibly sunny. I can't see. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And um, today, no.